And let's get ready for some wild and a shout out to our public announcer, Armando Bravo, part of the coaching squad there for the Toppenish Wildcats. Hoping to have a successful game here tonight. Everything on the line, the championship game. Live here from Toppenish, Washington, inside Wildcats Stadium on Bob Winters Field. Hello again, welcome everybody. My name is Antonio Tony Di Dominguez here. Well, the championship game, the main event of our evening started here momentarily. How did both these teams get here? They played. They played the best soccer that they could these past couple of weeks. Of course, the Highland Scotties sort of dealing with a bit of a tougher path to get here to this championship game, having to finish off on Tuesday, the Connell Eagles, the number one seed from the east side of the SCAC. Of course, here we go. And a quick note. Alexander Magana, number 17, 34 goals, ties the all-time record here for Toppenish High School. Just one goal away from having that record all to himself. Let's see if he can get that job done here tonight. And here we go. Juan Diego Mendoza gets his going. Robles sending it up ahead here as it's breezy. It's cold. And there's still some overcast, cloud, overcast clouds in the area. So maybe even a little bit of drizzle of a rain here later on this evening. Wildcats, though, focused, trying to get things going here. Here is Pacheco. Their best to get out of danger. Roberto Garcia coming out and uh, getting that ball away from the Highland Scotties. Both these squads, even though they, uh, the Highland Scotties, for those of you who don't know, sort of playing up a level for their soccer team, even though they are a 2B school. Due to the, all of the reclassifications a couple of years ago, in particular for the soccer, of course, Highland, with a huge uh, foundation in soccer, always been consistent. Top programs at their level at the time, remember, they dropped down to 1A, or to 2B, they were at 1A, so had they not Drop down a level. They would have been competing here at the same level as the Wildcats, but clearly so far this season they did play each other during the regular season. Wildcats, of course, being able to sneak away with the win. Not that it wasn't a close one here as the Highland Scott. He's pressuring early, making the Wildcat defense work shot and no good there from the Highland Scotties. Shot coming from number 19. Anthony Huerta Ceja, just a freshman. Looks like check that it was number 18, Salvador Ceja, senior. Alexis Perez Hernandez focused on getting it. Alexander Magaña with the shot there. A close one, but the Highland Scotties clear it out. Diego Mendoza puts it back into the play. Yair Quintero. Making something go. So now they're going to get back to action. Island Scotties with a chance. Free kick. How far can they get it out? Scotties dealing with a very tough opponent in the number two ranked top finish Wildcats. Of course, the top ranked team in the state. The Bush School. Located over in Seattle, Washington. 
their schedule hasn't been as tough as the Wildcats. Of course, the Wildcats playing up versus many opponents. They took on the Sunny State Grizzlies in their season opener. Took on the East Valley Red Devils. Took on the Quincy Jackrabbits. Cascade Leavenworth. So the Wildcats have really worked this season to try to challenge themselves, try to separate themselves from other soccer teams, soccer squads across the state. Clearly that ranking as number two, well learned, but an argument, an argument can be made that number one probably should be with the Wildcats. Well, I guess we'll find out. That's why we have the state tournament to determine who is the best of the best. Ball goes out of bounds. Aid and Cecil. To Juan Diego Mendoza, been great in the middle, in the midfield position, sending it up ahead. Gutierrez lets that one slip by him. Forces the Highland goalkeeper. Like that would be Jesus Gonzalez. Here tonight, here as the Highland Scotties almost had an attack there going. Robles going to send it up ahead. Alexander Magaña using his speed to break away, trying to catch up to it. Highland Scotty defender trying to get with the attempt set. Slide tackle successful. Yassi Perez with it. And that one's just going to be right out of the reach of the intended pass to Alexander Ramos Agoyano. Roberto Garcia working over on the left side of the field. And look at that, He's trying to stay physical and upright, not losing his feet. Island Scotty's able to take that one away, keep it inside there on the other side of the field. Still a danger for the Wildcats. Kicks it towards the middle. Wildcat defense able to come down, try to track that down. Trinidad Hernandez sends that one away. So there he goes again, inbounds it. Roberto Garcia trying to get position. It's going to be off. It's going to be off of the Scotties. The sideline official there, Marco Ramirez, looks like he was the one in charge of uh, the one that assessed the deflection, I should say. Rafael Garcia trying to push it ahead. So he can't get anything going. Wildcats mainly playing defense so far as the Highland Scotties coming out of the gate, just pushing as much as they can with their offense. And what's going to be called? Oh, no, and a yellow card's going to be assessed to the Wildcats on Angel Pacheco. And not necessarily the start that the Wildcats wanted to have early on here in this first half. We're only seven minutes in. Wildcats have gotten their offense to go just for a little bit, but mainly right now, the Highland Scotties finding a way to stay on the Wildcats' side of the field. And Hector Godinez has a big task ahead of him of preventing the Wildcats from being down one nothing here. As Marco Ramirez has a free kick. And right there, Godinez using his senior instinct to get the save here tonight. That's what you call experience right there. That's what he needed to do. He didn't need to make things too difficult. He just had to keep track of where that ball is. And of course, even though the weather conditions are not favorable right now for anybody, with the wind picking up, with the chance of rain, who knows how slick it is out there with the uh, moisture out on the turf field. A lot of things, a lot of factors at play here. And so substitution coming in as for the Wildcats, Isaac Mendoza is going to come out and back into the game. Angel Pacheco, Juan Diego Mendoza kicks it towards the middle of the field. Ball still in play. And Trinidad Hernandez, closest player, try to track down that ball. Possession is going to remain with the Wildcats nonetheless. Yair and Cecil. 
Christopher Gutierrez trying to take control, loses it there for a second and still does lift it off and unfortunately back to the Highland Scotties it will go. Jesus Esquivel Guzman. Rafa Rafael Garcia. Gutierrez controlling that left side of the field and uh, Ruben Lozano. Puts a foot on that passing lane and deflects that one out. Championship game here, live from Toppenish, Washington. Here inside Wildcat Stadium on Bob Winner's Field. Here on the pitch, as it's known in soccer, Yair and Cecil pushing towards Rafael Garcia, shorts towards the middle. Headed there by the Highland Scotty defense. Juan Diego Mendoza. Control, fancy footwork, keeping it alive. Look at that. Just making it look effortless. Doesn't seem under pressure, just keeps everything under control. What more could he ask for? And ball will be out of bounds off of the Scotties. That's Marco Ramirez attempting to make a play. Doesn't go his way, Rafael Garcia. Back to Roberto Garcia, sends it way to the other side of the field. Yahid Quintero right there in the middle. Back to Trinidad Hernandez, finds Gutierrez, slips through his feet. Garcia again, Rafael with Juan Diego Mendoza. Now back again, Garcia. Up ahead to Trinidad Hernandez. With the Highland Scotty defense coming in. Oh, oh. Magaña, one on one. Gutierrez still with it. Magaña bringing it out towards the middle and good close out defense there from the Highland Scotties. Ruby Silva coming from the midfielder forward position. And getting his body in the way of that shot. Good defense there by the Scotties. This is what it's going to be about. Both, both these teams are going to put everything on the line, back and forth. Trust me, taking a full-on ball kick to any part of your body never feels good. you got to imagine that. It doesn't matter what sport you played, whether you get a football thrown into your face or into your body or a basketball straight to your head, it happens. The ball deflected out of bounds. Diego Mendoza with the throw in. Trying to read this team accurately. And Cecil starts it off, and Juan Diego Mendoza still that ball. Oh, roll out of bounds, unfortunately. And substitution coming in. Marco Ramirez is going to take a seat momentarily. And coming in for the Highland Scott is Yahid Castrolon. Juan Diego Mendoza taps it. Roberto Garcia back over to Ayir Anciso, sends it back to Angel Pacheco. Right side of the field, Cristian Robles and off of the foot of Alexander Ramos Aguiano. In the middle. Picked off from the foot of the Highland Scotty defender. Mendoza coming forward, still doesn't have anything going. Now Yair and Cecil on the left side with Trinidad Hernandez. Back to Juan Diego Mendoza. Sends it back to reset. Angel Pacheco, he already has a yellow card in this contest. So you got to imagine he's going to be a little bit careful now. That you know, both these teams have mutual respect for each other, so we don't expect it to get out of hand in terms of chirpiness or anything like that. Both these squads very good at what they do, have had success, plenty of success over the years. When you have two of the top squads in the state, you know it's going to be a tough matchup for either team, and whoever wins this one, they, they you for sure deserve the top. One of the tops. Well, they deserve the championship trophy at the end. Trinidad Hernandez breaking away with the shot and coming out. 
goalkeeper Jesus Gonzalez. With the wind in his favor. It's that one away. Center field, Scotty's. Nothing yet. Roberto Garcia. Back to Juan Diego Mendoza. In the center over Alexander Magana. Diego Mendoza, once again, we've mentioned he's been the effective player. He's been the player in the middle of the field. Both being able to play defense and play offense and a huge play there, huge hit. Trinidad Hernandez taking a shot there from the attempted side tackle. Slide tackle there from Jesus Esquivel Guzman. And Hernandez. Taking his time, trying to regain his wits and able to get back up. Mendoza. Gonna kick it. Sends it through Hernandez, but that one just out of reach. Diego Mendoza had the correct idea right there. Sending to me Hernandez further up the left side sideline. Unfortunately, with the wind and everything, kind of miscalculated that kick a little bit. Too much power. He can pedal. There's a little bit of a dribble there. Handle back to Hernandez, breaking across from the left side. Can he find the angle? Takes the shot. Coming in, header, and again the goalkeeper Gonzalez coming out. The Scotties are trying to move quick. Juan Diego Mendoza again, his defensive and offensive capabilities. Just the utility knife out there when he's in the middle of the field. Making plays one way or another. And again, ball will go out. Looks like the Scotties, Miguel Romero Ceja. He's down with the current injury. Looks like rolled his ankle on that one. He's going to look to get up. Gingerly trying to walk it out, able to get back up. Kick this one away here for the Scotties. Jesus Esquivel Guzman. Also with the chance of closing speed there. Couldn't get anything in the go. Now the Scotties. Attacking from the right side to Ruby Silva in an attempt there. Godinez had to take it in. Now Godinez having to reset, but the Wildcats quickly just trying to get that one out of there. Setting up at the shot by Checo and Godinez. Where where that ball was at, tracking that one down. And now he's going to send it out of here, clear it out. Mendoza. Looking for Magana, up ahead, gets a little bit of help, Magana. Self, look at that, just one away from having the all-time record to himself. Well, this win isn't helping him, I think, had this win not been present, because you could tell that ball was being carried away just a little bit. It hung in the air for a second. It was that close. So ball will roll out of bounds again. Wildcat still with possession. And Cecil to Hernandez and off of Garcia. So Esquivel goes man. Roman. Up 
por Roberto Garcia, Rafael Garcia trying to ring in control now, Juan Diego Mendoza. Towards the left sideline. Signs to send it back to his defender, Enciso. Resets with Rafael Garcia in the middle. Pacheco. It's coming out a little bit. Quintero gets a move. Macaña again. He cuts it. And get Not Hernandez, but oh no, an offsides call there by the sideline official on the other side. So no goal just yet. Well, that would have been there, but once again, just a step and a half, just a step and a half too far. I hate that, but the rules are the rules. And Cecil. Able to break that play up. Rafael Garcia with this dribble. And now coming up a little bit. Robles and Mendoza reading that passing lane and able to take it away for a moment for a moment. Diego Mendoza won't give up on this play. And Marco Ramirez with Robles right there in the middle. Garcia able to get a handle and again takes a shot and Godinez. Second save of this contest able to come out and make sure nothing happens. And shot. What more could you ask for? Godinez with the help of the wind sending that ball all the way to the other side of the field. And now Garcia trying to get a hold on it. Yahid Quintero in the middle. Garcia loses it now. Island Scott is with the opportunity to retain possession, get this ball moving as they have found their rhythm as they've spent a little bit more time over here with possession on the Wildcat side of the field as opposed to the Wildcats. Even though they've been a little bit more explosive, majority of the possession time belonging so far to the Scotties. These weather conditions might have a thing or two to do about it. This wind is sort of a little bit light right now, but of course it has picked up, especially in our first game. So already halfway through the first half. Garcia. Next to the area of Magana. And Esquivel Guzman. Simply tapping that one away. So in our first game, for those of you who are just joining us, the third, fourth place game between the Wallop Warriors and the Connell Eagles belongs to the Connell Eagles. They walk away with the third place trophy for the SCAC. Of course, the Wallop Warriors in fourth. And a trip to state in a dangerous situation right there. Pacheco still alive. And the Highlands got the defense able to kick that one away by Garcia. Roberto. Good play there, keeping it away, Albert Magallona Reina. And Roberto Garcia to Mendoza. Island Scotties, look at their defense. They crowd their players. And from behind, Roberto Garcia with the foul. They have a much needed break. Where the Scotties substitution coming in for the Highland Scotties. Esquivel Guzman. Roberto Garcia puts it up in the air. 
Aguilar Hernandez and then Godinez. Come out of his box and track that one down. And now let's see. The game plan is here. Looks like he's going to kick this one deep. And indeed he does. Back in ahead. Godinez again. Ball going, coming his way. Godinez in the middle over to Gutierrez. Now Hernandez sneaking in there. Magaña trying to make a play at the ball. Mendoza, can he close the speed? He does, and able to get in the way of Albert Magallon Reina. Not letting him make a clean pass. Guzman and right to Enciso. Enciso deflected off of him. Still has possession. Roberto Garcia sending it over and right there coming towards the defense. Alexis Perez Hernandez for the Scotties. Keeping that one away. Mendoza left side tries to send it and ball will just go out of bounds there. Alexander Magana looking to make a cut on that pass. We're here at 10 minutes remaining. I have five minutes of exclusive Spanish content announcing. At the 10 minute mark, we'll keep that for five minutes and then uh, back to your regularly scheduled program. Coming up here on the THS Digital Media Network, make sure to like, subscribe, follow, and never miss out on another THS Digital Media event. Rafael Garcia sending it ahead and streaking across. Magaña. They had a chance on it, but Yair Quintero being that last man just a little bit too far ahead of that line. Score is 0 0. Both teams playing in a bit of a different style here as of late. Seems as though the Highland Scott is more effective keeping possession over on the Wildcats' side of the field. And the Wildcats having explosive moments and ending up on the Scotty sides of the field, but not for too long. They have had opportunities to take shots to get that ball inside the goal. But nothing striking just yet. Quintero, right side of the field, looking up ahead, trying to find Magaña. Out of bounds, immediately back into play. Scotty's weaving their way through traffic. Left side and ball to Yahid Quintero. He loses it momentarily, in danger, still again. And, and Cecil just bombs that one out of there. Gutierrez. Tries to kick it away and deflected high up into the air. Island Scotties thought they were going to regain possession. But Robles able to put it back into play immediately. Scotties doing the smart thing, sending it back to their goalkeeper, trying to clear it out. Good slide tackle there from Robles. Garcia and Quintero trying to work something. Trinidad Hernandez. More of that midfield currently. Roberto Garcia with the header up top. Shot taking in. Godinez having to come out and he's going to get that one. Get the Wildcats some relief. You know, luckily, Godinez has been very, very disciplined and no mistakes so far. But you don't want to put your goalkeeper in that position. You want to have him nice and relaxed, and they're not having to worry that the opposing offense is just going to be there inside those boxes all day. It really makes you uncomfortable. And 
see so Gutierrez but deflected off of the Scotties. Ciso again looking to go. Pedoza looking to get a cut there. Scotty's able to track it down. Battle. Trying to close down. That passing lane. Esquivel Guzman with a long shot. Garcia and an offside is going to be called on the Scotties. On 10 minutes remaining. Just a reminder here at the 10 minute mark, we'll go for an exclusive five minutes in Spanish. Shout out and celebrate our Latino Spanish speaking community. Of course, soccer, football as it's known around the world, big sports in international communities. Of course, you love it when your local community comes out and supports these teams. Usually a family affair. Son, daughter, niece, nephew, whatever it is. Grandkids, people want to watch. And missing that opportunity, Trinidad Hernandez. Y ahí se va el Christopher Gutierrez. Muchas gracias acompañándonos aquí en español en el THS Digital Media Network exclusivamente aquí. Y ahí se lo va con el disparo ahí, yendo para afuera. Balón. Están queriendo dar a los aficionados aquí. La falta o van a un reemplazante, un suplante. Van a poner los Highland Scotties. Los Highland Scotties localizado en Kawichi, Washington. Centro más allá arriba, Vira de Yakima, Washington. Y ahí se va a poner y ahí en Ciso se lo hace Juan Diego Mendoza con su regate en el medio. Ahora sí, ya lo manda y ahí Quintero en el medio. Ya se lo manda para arriba y ahí está queriendo encontrar a Alexander Magaña. Vamos con la cabecera, ahí se la da, ahí todavía para arriba, no va en una así. Y ahí Alexander Magaña. Uh, hablando con el árbitro, no le quiere dar, no pasó nada, dice. Y ahora sí, a ver qué le van a dar, un corner kick viene. Ahora sí, al lado de Juan Diego Mendoza. A ver qué va a pasar, a ver qué van a hacer los Tappanish Wildcats, a ver si pueden atacar ahí del centro. Va a tomar que mirar a Alexander Magaña, a ver dónde está. Los Caris de Highland. Una buena defensa ahí. El balón se sale afuera, ahora sí, ahora sí para afuera. Los Tappanish Wildcats otra vez con el balón para ellos. Van a clientonar aquí. El marcado 0 a 0. Quedan unos 7 y medio minutos. Otra vez Alexander Mañaña. Y ahí se van a ver la falta. Otra vez. Van a dar la llamada allí. Ahí se le va con el tiro ahí, al otro lado del Bill de los Wildcats. Centro, controlando, Esquivel Guzmán. Ahí en la derecha, está queriendo mandar para el centro del Bill. Ahora sí todavía a la derecha y ahí se lo manda, arriba. Alberto Magallón Reina todavía al centro, otra vez, una oportunidad ahí y otra vez. Y ahí Quintero ahí. Ahí se lo viene, Trinidad Hernández. Al centro otra vez con Magaña, no lo puede agarrar. Ahora sí, para atrás, para Quintero. Y se lo manda arriba y todavía no lo pueden agarrar. Y ahora sí, los Highlands Caris, a ver. Lo cortaron, ahora sí, el balón y todavía están peleando ahí. Y ahí se están topeando y no hacen nada. Y por ahí, ahora sí, la llamada por los jueces de línea a ese lado. Se sabe qué va a pasar en este juego de los campeonatos.
Marco Ramírez. Se lo manda en el centro. Ahora sí, para el otro lado. Jugando a la derecha del Gil. Ahora sí, lo manda para el otro lado, a la izquierda. Ahí se lo mira Cristian Robles. Con su regate, ahora sí, a ese lado. Lo manda para arriba. Todavía nada. Y ahora sí, todavía los... Ahí Lenz Caris jugando con toda la defensa que tienen ahorita. Mira cómo lo está queriendo quitar ese balón. Y el balón se va afuera del, del área de, del juego. Ahora sí para atrás. Con el saque lateral adentro. Ya se lo va con el control. Todavía nada pasando. Y otra vez se sale el balón. Atrás para los Tappanish Wildcats. Se continúa. Quintero para arriba. Ahí se lo manda el Alexander Magaña. Se está queriendo quebrar. Uno a uno. Se lo mete. Y se lo hace. Has the record. 35. That's what you call a record breaking goal right there. 35 and all. What more could you ask for? Congratulations to that young man. He has that goal all to himself, that record all to himself, and most importantly, the win here in that one. Ya se lo tiene. Ya quebró el record. Alexander Magaña con 35 goles en su carrera aquí. En esta campaña regular y también en la campaña del torneo. A ver qué va a salir. ¿Quién va a salir el ganador? Ahora sí, el marcador. A 1 a 0. The score at 1 and 0. 1 to 0. Here we go. Well, can't still attack it again. Escabil Guzman, and now Alexander Magaña still trying to make a play. Look at that. That kid doesn't give up. That's why he's going to Columbia Basin College, the CBC commit. We're going to be glad to have him in the fall. He's going to be a very effective player, you have to believe. Best wishes to him and his post, you know, post high school career. Getting a chance to play some college athletics. Marco Ramirez pushing ahead. Garcia, though, using his body and finally tripped up as a foul called. Can't get anything and immediately the Wildcats still running time. Juan Diego Mendoza left and a foul called. So the 35th goal this season for Alexander Magaña, Columbia Basin College commit to play soccer in, on in the fall when he joins the Hawks down in the Tri-Cities area here in the state of Washington, Richland, Kennewick, Pasco area. Marco Ramirez. Offensive possession there, nothing yet. Trinidad Hernandez focused on it. They're running over. Middle of the field. Escobil Guzman, he's going to take a long shot. Godinez, perhaps dangerous play right there. He had to come up, I think. Hanging in the air, he's really the only one that can use his hand. He is the only one that can use his hands so perhaps smartly. And yellow card going to be assessed on the Scotties, number two. Seth Perez, just a freshman. So yellow card assessed. One of the Wildcats and one of the Scotties. things up now we're at two minutes plus extra time remaining in this first half thank you for joining us folks from wherever you may be at this is the THS digital media network be sure to like subscribe and follow never miss out on championship events just like these which high school THS media digital media best broadcasting grew in the state you better imagine not sure there are too many people or too many schools capable of providing the quality content that we have for you guys here exclusively. 
THS Digital Media Network here on YouTube. So extra time still remaining, under a minute. Scotty's trying to use up the rest of the time. Ahead, Wildcats with the break, and again, the goalkeeper able to come out in time. Try to make something happen. Clear them out of danger. Sends that one. High arcing, high hanging kick. So right now, playing into extra time, essentially. Let's see how long the referees are going to let this one go. Still just the first half. Christopher Gutierrez trying to make a ball, play on that ball. Esquivel Garz, Esquivel Guzman, and now right into Cecil Gutierrez. Thought he had it there for a moment, but the Highland Scotty defense taking it away. In the middle. Rigi across, right side towards the middle, and Cecil right there clears it out. Takes a clear shot, and that win carried away. Shot attempted by Salvador Seja. Couldn't get anything to go on that one. Godinez to clear it out, hoping to close out this first half. And that's it. After one. Alexander Magaña earning the record all to himself here for the Toppenish High School Wildcats. 35 goals in a single season. The record all to himself now. And not only that, the Wildcats with the lead one to nothing. Thank you for joining us here on the THS Digital Media Network. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and never miss out on another THS Digital Media event. And we'll be back here. THS Digital Media Network.
And welcome back here on the THS Digital Media Network. Second half underway. Highland Scott is down one nothing. Of course, Alexander Magana earning himself the top of his high school all-time goals, or should I say, a uh, regular season? Well, he, he has the THS big goal-scoring record at 30. 
five. The Wildcats hoping to get started. Close this game out with the Highland Scotties. This second half, still early. Trying to turn things around and tie things up. And try to get a championship trophy here today. Donnie's bringing it on the side of the field and now almost lost it. Scotty's going to have to settle, send it to their goalkeeper. Nothing there again, and an offsides call on the Wildcats. Goalkeeper to clear out the ball. Nasir Perez. Back to Rudy Silva. And Garcia trying to step up. Still the danger and just a touch too far to the left. Marco Ramirez coming in for the attempt. Guadinas, clear this one out, and he does, and the wind having a ton of effect here in the second half. Tied down before halftime, but starting to pick up once again. Ball is loose. Mendoza couldn't hang on to it, and now Marco Ramirez making a run right side. The attempted shot can be deflected. Go out of bounds. This yet again, another one will force a corner kick. Corner kick here. Scotties, can they capitalize on this opportunity? Send it towards the middle of the goal, a little offside. Wildcats able to keep it away, keep it out of there. Long distance shot. Godinez have to settle down here. And Wildcats hoping to get it out to the dangerous side of the field. Gutierrez loses it for a second. Mendoza can get something, and then Godinez able to stop the shot there, his third save of this contest. Yair and Cecil, left side of the field, back to Garcia. Trinidad Hernandez. Back to Robles. Magaña. Using with the chest. Trying to get that ball under control. Garcia sending it ahead again. Island defenders have been right there. This wind is really making the ball hang in the air. So it gives the defense time to get under it, position themselves, and here we go. Aranya looking for an opportunity to score. Didn't get it. Attempted slide tackle there by Magaña to keep it away from Alexander Ramos Aguiano. Once again inside, Alexis Perez, Hernandez, Garcia. To Hernandez, takes a kick and is that, is it, it is in. Trinidad Hernandez with the second goal of the game. Goal. 
Golazo! Trinidad Hernandez puts up, puts the Wildcats up to, to nothing. We saw that, and again, the wind had a partial effect on it. As soon as it hit the crossbar, it stayed, it stayed in play. And in, case, in case you didn't catch some of the action earlier, there was a shot that bounced off the top of the crossbar but hit the field goal post in the process, so meaning that ball was out. This was not the case here. Hit the top of the crossbar of the regular goal, not the field goal post. So that play very much, very much alive and legal. So second goal, 2-0 now for the Wildcats. As things just get more difficult for the Scotties. These weather conditions just don't favor anybody, but the experience that the Wildcats have is probably what's putting them ahead here currently. Not letting these weather conditions affect them. Shot there. No good from Salvador Seja. So the Wildcats are going to be able to clear this one out. That left side, ball rolling past the Highland defense. Almost had it, and then finally a foul going to be called. That's Trinidad Hernandez. He must just brought down with two hands. So third yellow card of the game. Second one assessed to the Highland Scotties. Just physical play, mutual respect. Both these teams have each for each other. Two successful programs going back multiple years now. Decades, you can say. Just highly competitive. Hernandez with the shot there. Reflected off a Highland Scotty defender. Action continues. Robles kicks it towards the middle. Esquivil Guzman sending it. Tempted bicycle there from Garcia. Juan Diego Mendoza. Jose Perez. Get to the other side by Jorge Lopez. And now Robles forced to come out. Stop that ball and now Mendoza. And that one's going to be deflected out of bounds. Wildcats are going to continue to move. Robles. Mendoza. Maybe working more with his right side of the sideline. Mendoza loading up, cutting through Gutierrez, trying to take control, shot in just too powerful there from Garcia. Rafael Garcia in on that attempt from close range. Quintero regains control. Magaña sending up ahead, breaking one-on-one. -on -one. Garcia, and he gets it. Goal! Lasso Rafael Garcia! That's the third goal of this contest. And by the way things are going, that, that probably is going to be it. I mean, Wildcats obviously are still going to keep playing hard, but it's going to, it's just with these weather conditions, who knows if. The Highland Scotties can do anything more than what they're doing now. 
Some substitutions coming in now for the Scotties as this game is starting to fall out of reach, especially with the wind here. Molinas, a few saves here so far in this contest. Cats continuing to play hard, though. They want to seal this one up. Hanging around with Fid, and no call yet. Nothing. For the Warriors, long kick. Off of the head of Marco Ramirez. A reset coming up for the Wildcats. Venus is going to clear this one out. Molinas. Over to Yair and Cecil. Venus finding Robles. Try to keep it in bounds. He does. Rosa. Finally out of bounds. Cats will remain with possession. Roberto Garcia kicking that one high and out. It only took less than 10 minutes for the Wildcats to be up 3-0. That explosiveness that we were seeing in the first half, even though they didn't have a lot of possession time, you could definitely tell that the Wildcats just needed to find the right moment, the right play, and they would put up these spurts of points that they're capable of putting up. Robles coming in. Didn't like the way that one was felt. Robles still keeping that play alive. Over to Rafael Garcia. Loses it momentarily. Now the Highland Scotties. Alexander Ramos Aguiano. Didn't know where to go with it. Rudy Silva. Long shot. And that one just too far up ahead. Wildcats. We'll reset. And Cecil. And then himself, Juan Diego Mendoza take it to the middle of the field. Magaña, a break on the ball. One on one situation, and it's in. Second goal for Alexander Magaña. Goal. Lasso. Alexander Magaña, his second one of the contest. I guess Alexander Magana's second goal of this contest and of course that's going to give him outright the record it's going to take a little bit more work for the next potential record breaker for the Wildcats if that ever happens again to get to that high level of uh, scoring essentially get that many opportunities and also have them go in Streaking across, Anthony Dominguez trying to get to the ball. And quickly the Highland Scotties, Jorge Lopez kicks it out of bounds. Back 
into play. And Cecil. Mendoza to the middle. Kicked up into the air. Nothing happening and ball will roll out of bounds. Scotties trying to maintain their dribble. And a big long pass attempted there by Salvador Seja. Seja able to steal that one away again. And Cecil sees it coming his way. Puts it to the middle. And Mendoza. Glad they could keep it alive there momentarily. But Miguel Romero Serra takes that one away. Seeing the ball out of bounds. Back to the Wildcats. And Magana with the shot, and he got it, the hat trick here tonight. Goal! So, Alexander Magana. Third contest, he has had himself the hat trick here tonight in the championship game. And he only keeps cementing that record to his name the more he scores here tonight. And what better way to do it? What better way to break the record than with the hat trick of your own? You've got to imagine whoever is going to be the next record breaker of that. Man, he's going to have to be some sort of special talent, real special talent, in comparison to what Alexander Magana has done here this season. Didi has so the score of five to nothing. Alexander Magana with the hat trick here this evening. And this lead only begins to grow. And Cecil trying to keep the ball alive over on that side of the field. Can't get anything to go. Now, once again, dribbling there, Yasit Perez. Roberto Garcia gets in the middle of that shot. Magaña to Juan Diego Mendoza. Tries to send it up ahead. Finding Anthony Dominguez, but couldn't get there. Magaña takes the lead himself. And it's in the middle. Almost loses it. He does. It's like Jaco and then Robles just kicks it as far as he can. Quintero tried to get it out of there. Couldn't move it. Miguel Romero Serra. Keeping it alive. Juan Diego Mendoza. Back to the middle. Sends it to the middle. Alexander Magana again. Can he do it? Fourth one. And just deflected off the goalkeeper. Would have been Alexander Magana's fourth goal of the night. I mean, top offensive player for the top finish Wildcats. It's just making it look smooth. Not dealing with very much pressure. Quintero. Thought he had a lined up shot there momentarily. The Scotties. The Highland High School Scotties located in Kawichi, Washington. Just five, ten minutes outside of Yakima, Washington, north of Yakima, Washington. Hector Codines able to corral that one in. Back to Robles. Losing it. Alexander Ramos Aguiano. All to himself. And Quintero comes out. Diego Mendoza, long shot, towards the goal. And that ball will safely be 
put out of bounds by Yacid Perez. Thirty-seven goals. Single season here for Alexander Magaña, the Columbia Basin College commit. Go to college down there in the fall. See how well he does for the Columbia Basin College Hawks. Said Quintero. Domingo Mendoza thought he had a look there. Scott has kept it away. Ball stolen in play there by Jesus Esquivel Guzman. Cecil trying to meet up with Ramirez. Wind is starting to pick up once again. Troubling. Zeha. See Perez sending it back. They're trying to take their time a little bit. When you're down 5 nothing, it gets a little difficult. Wildcats steal it away again momentarily and again. Scotty's take a shot, partially deflected. And Angel Pacheco easily able to kick that one out. Ball still in the air, deflected. Roberto Garcia staying in the air. Good minute. Quintero. Working with it. No shots taken just yet. There goes one, and Molinas is going to let that one float just to the right. Weather conditions, how cold it is, you can put a lot of factors into the reason why the game is going this way, but you cannot lie. You can, there's no way you can deny that Alexander Magaña has been a big part of what the Wildcats' success has come to be about this season. He's the leading scorer, and the leading scorer by a wide margin. The next leading, the next scorer behind him isn't even in double digits. So that's how a, much of an effective player Magaña is. And of course, he's grown and developed as the season has progressed. Pretty much ever since their loss to the East Valley Red Devils early on in the season, back in March, Wildcats just doing everything they can to recover from that. And I think this team has just started to find its stride as they prepare to move on to the state tournament seating and sites and who hosts to be determined later on this weekend. There is that soccer ball goes all the way to the other side of the building, believe it or not. You know somebody's going to be charged and tasked with uh, bringing that ball back to this side. All shot in the middle. Ramirez thought about it. Roberto Garcia trying to keep something in. Foul called. Lina sends it over to Wencisol. Mendoza. Trying to keep it alive. Deflected off of Lozano. Long shot there. From Yacir Perez. And Garcia. The chance and Godinez having to come back out. Cover that one and clear this one out once more. And up on 15 minutes remaining here in the second half plus extra time. Well, the Wildcats with the lead that you see on your screen, five to nothing. Alexander Magana with the hat trick. And one goal from Rafael Garcia. And another goal by Trinidad Hernandez. A 
offense for the Wildcats here in the second half. Finding their pace, fighting the rhythm. Well, Ines again, just in time to get that one out of danger. The senior goalkeeper. And so Godinez sends it over to Isaac Mendoza. Ball still bouncing around. Through the middle. Rudy Silva running with it. Marco Ramirez thought about it. Shot long and powerful. Nowhere near the goal. Salvador Ceja. And substitution coming in for both teams. Scott is the top of his Wildcats. 13.45 remaining in this contest. And momentarily, folks, here at the 10-minute mark, well, we're going to switch exclusively to a Spanish portion of the program for five minutes or so. And then after that, we'll be switching right back to our regularly scheduled programming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us here on the THS Digital Media Network. Never miss out on another THS Digital Media event. And uh, after speaking at halftime with uh, several other top finish athletic administrators, more than likely the Wildcats, more than likely, probably above 85% now, they're going to host a state soccer tournament game here at home. Of course, them being the home team. And depending on the results of that contest, possibly a second home game in the quarterfinals. See how that one goes. Paganya. Another shot, and there he goes. He has four of them. Goal! So, Alexander Magania with his fourth goal of the evening. Magania's not giving up. He's only adding on and cementing his name in the Toppenish High School record books. All-time single season leading scorer. And I think now he might be, I think he has the most goals in the entire valley. So that includes all the schools, mind you, even the big ones like Eisenhower and Davis. What a young man with a great career. And of course, being afforded the opportunity to play at the next level, at the collegiate level, over at Columbia Basin College located in the Tri-Cities area near the Kennewick, Richland, Pasco area here in the state of Washington. 90 seconds and change remaining before we hit the 10-minute mark. Magania. Staying with it. Wildcats, of course, with the 6-0 lead now. And Cecil. Foul there on the sideline. It's like Axel Castillo wasn't able to keep the ball in bounds. Also bouncing around. Attempted shot again. Another attempted shot. And no good there on that attempt from Jose Carrasco Delgado, a senior forward. Couldn't get anything to go on that one, just loaded up. Had some time. But Hector Godinez, the experienced senior goalkeeper, right there to stop and have nothing of it. He didn't want that one to go inside the net at all. Scotty's running with full speed now. Attempted slide tackle, and this one will go out. So momentarily, we'll switch in Spanish here in the final moments here of this contest. Championship game, Wildcats leading 6 to nothing. Y muchas gracias por acompañarnos aquí en el THS Digital Media Network, aquí en YouTube. Los Tapanish Wildcats ganando el marcado 6 a 0. Cuatro goals. Con Alexander Magaña, ya tiene su record y ya lo está quebrando. Ahora sí, ya tiene su nombre.
cementado en el, los record books aquí de Tappanish High School. A ver quién va a ser el próximo jugador, jugador, jugador aquí de los Tappanish Wildcats de este partido. Quién va a salir y a lo mejor quién va a ser el próximo jugador que va a quebrar ese record aquí en esta escuela, en este partido del Tappanish High School. Nunca solo sabe, pero mira cómo, está, cómo tiene el juego Alexander Magaña con cuatro goles, él solo. Y todo aquí en el, en el segundo tiempo. Sus compañeros ayudándolo pues con sus asistías, haciendo los pases. Todo con lo que puedan. Y ahorita ahí como se mira el marcado, 6 a 0. La terreto Dara, de los Highlands Caris. Todavía peleando ahí con el balón los Island Scaris. Salen de allí, ahora sí para atrás con García. Roberto García lo manda para atrás con Cristian Robles. Ahora sí está esperando a dónde lo va a mandar. Lo da a Isaac, a Isaac Mendoza. García ahora sí a la izquierda al lado, ahora sí con el inciso. Lo agarra para atrás el balón. Ya menos lo pierde todavía ahí en la izquierda. Ya menos se saquen y ahora sí. Una falta llamada ahí. El árbitro. O plantes viniendo. Suplentes ahí se están metiendo ahora sí en el juego. A ver cómo van a acabar aquí los Highland Scotties. No van a agarrar los resultados que ellos querían ahora. No van a ganar este juego, pero como sea. Van a poder jugar y van a entrar al torneo del estado para los campeonatos. A ver quién va a ganar. A ver a dónde lo van a poner estos dos partidos. Pero los Tappanish Wildcats, el partido más mejor a este lado del estado. Especialmente con este juego. El marcador todavía dice 0, 6 a 0. Seis goles y ahí se va quebrando Trinidad Hernández. Va a querer agarrar su segundo gol de este juego. Todavía no, nomás lo manda Juan Diego Mendoza. Lo manda, mira, con el poder. El balón se va afuera. A ver qué va a pasar más ahí adelante. ¿Cómo van a acabar este juego? Los Islands Caris. Durante la campaña regular, pues, lo jugaron los Tappanish Wildcats contra ellos. Empezando la campaña regular. En marzo. Pero todavía ahorita como se enseña. Ahorita como está jugando el partido de Tappanish. Cómo va a ser de difícil los otros partidos de los otros estados. Especialmente los, los partidos allá del Seattle. A ver cómo van a jugar contra ellos. Pero como sea va a ser un trabajo difícil. Especialmente con Alexander Magaña ahí. Con todos los goles. A ver cómo lo van a defender estos otros partidos que nunca lo han visto. Este, este partido jugar en persona. Ya casi venimos a cinco minutos. Queda en este segundo tiempo. Cristian Robles, ahora sí allá abajo. Durante ahí donde está el arquero Héctor Godínez. Roberto García allí con Juan Diego Mendoza. Con su regate así, ahora sí al medio con Viají Quintero. Lo pase para adelante y ahí está queriendo bajarse Axel Castillo. Ahí se lo agarra ahí Quintero a ver si lo puedo controlar. No se va a jugar el balón y todavía se quede allí. Ahora sí a ver con qué, con qué se va a ir ese balón. Sí, ya están, se van a meter los otros suplentes. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos aquí en el THS Digital Media Network. Ahorita como se mira, los Tappanish Wildcats van a ganar 6 a 0 el marcado ahorita. So the Wildcats leaning 6 to nothing. Less than 5 minutes remaining in this championship game is theirs. What a great
great performance here tonight by both teams, in particular the top Topinish Wildcats, of course. Their offense just rolling through here this evening. And of course, there's no way they're not gonna earn themselves one of the top four seeds, or realistically should be the top two seed, one of the top two seeds in the state for the 1A state soccer tournament. Beginning here in a little under a week. I mean, great regular season to both teams. Of course, the Wildcats looks like, I mean, they're pretty much set to win the SEAC tournament championship. Of course, they have the regular season championship as well. But this one definitely is going to cement their position in the state tournament. Of course, with that being said, programming no. We do, we will have one more broadcast coming to you live here from Toppenish, Washington. So stay tuned for that. Or follow us on our social media pages and of course here on YouTube, like, subscribe, follow, never miss out on events like these. It's the THS Digital Media Network, one of the top broadcasting teams in the state, if not the best here on this side of the mountains. Heck, I might even argue even the other side of the mountains. Not too many that can match this quality presentation and content that we put on for you here. Wildcats trying to get that one out of danger. Scotty's pick it in, that one. Too far off to the right. Here as the Scotties are slowly running out of time and pretty much will seal up this contest. So Godinez to clear this one out. Here as all the substitute players in, the bench has cleared for the most part. Alexander Magaña still out there along with Christian Robles and Roberto Garcia. Juan Diego Mendoza is still there, working at midfield. Oh, lost it there for a second. Under two minutes remaining now, plus extra time. We'll see how much time the officials decide to put onto the clock. It may not be very much due to the, well, this game is pretty much sealed up. The Wildcats probably might be just trying to play keep away here in these final moments. Scotty's Ramirez trying to close with the shot opportunity. Couldn't do anything there. Able to regain control. Shot taken. No good. Another one. Blocked there, and the referee is going to call. Wow. <laughs> so it looks like it may have hit the hand. It's a free kick opportunity now. For the Highland Scotties. Finished second in the SEAC West, earned the number two seed in this tournament. Able to beat the Connell Eagles on Tuesday. A shorthanded Connell Eagles, I should say. So perhaps a little luck going the Highlands got his way in that contest. But nonetheless, the Wildcats with a great opportunity here. And that's it. Final time. Wildcats, six to nothing. Player of the game and new record, scorer, record keeper, record breaker, whatever you want to call him, Alexander Magana with 37 goals in a single regular season. The Columbia Basin College commit has done it. And he has sent this team to state. 
and they'll await their seeding sometime later this weekend. And of course, the state tournament for the 1A starting next week. A programming note, we have at least one more event for you to broadcast, at least for the boys' soccer team. So make sure to like, follow, subscribe to catch out, catch up on that information. Whenever we find out, we'll give it to you. But anyways, big moments here today. Alexander, Man Alexander Magana breaking the record and pretty much solidly cements it to himself. That record belongs to him. It's going to be a little while before anybody, if anybody, can break that record here at Toppenish High School. So four goals from Alexander Magana, and then one from Trinidad Hernandez and one from Rafael Garcia, leading to our total score here tonight, six to nothing. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, your SCAC 1A District Tournament Champions, the Toppenish Wildcats. Thank you for joining us here tonight. It's been a great couple of games. And look at that as the team celebrating their trophy in plaque. Congratulations to the Wildcats. Up next, the state tournament. We wish them the best of luck. And of course, we'll have the opening round for you here live on the THS Digital Media Network. Take a look at all of that. Just great things happening all around team looking straight at the camera and of course thanking its community the Toppenish community proud supporters always of all their athletic programs and showing what they have here tonight anyways ladies and gentlemen that is all from me anyways we'll keep you live here on here to uh, witness the celebration for the Toppenish Wildcats squad Thanking the community, and look at that, holding that trophy high up into the air. Truly a great season, again, for another sport for the Toppenish High School Wildcats. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Antonio, Tony D. Dominguez. It's been a great couple of games. Thank you for joining us here exclusively on the THS Digital Media Network. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and never miss out on another THS Digital Media event. Have a good night. God bless, and see you out there.